The story of one of modern astronomy's greatest minds begins in a small town in northern Germany on July 22, 1784. Friedrich Wilhelm Bessel, born to the family of a poor government employee, began his journey in modern-day Brandenburg, Germany, which was then a part of the Prussian Empire. Bessel attended the Minden Gymnasium for four years, proving himself to be a poor student. He particularly struggled with Latin, a language he would later teach himself. Given his later accomplishments, it seems likely that Bessel responded negatively to a highly structured and regimented teaching style. Bessel did not lack curiosity or a desire to learn, as he would soon demonstrate. He began work as an employee in the export-import business at age 15. Bessel was a curious child and preoccupied himself during his internship with a variety of studies, including languages, geography, distant peoples, and navigation. He did so with the dream of travel in mind. It was ultimately his interest in sea navigation that led him to astronomy. Bessel was first published for his work in astronomy after calculating the orbit of Halley's Comet in 1804 using data from two centuries earlier. He sent his research to the prominent German astronomer Wilhelm Olbers, who arranged for the Monetlich Correspondence to publish it. Thus, at the young age of 20, Bessel was already showing promise as an astronomer. As a result of his newfound notoriety, Bessel was forced to make a decision regarding his life's path. He could opt to remain in his lucrative position with a commercial shipping form, or opt for the humble life of a stargazing astronomer. Bessel chose the latter. Bessel showed potential as an astronomer from a young age. His youth was defined by the acceptance of responsibilities seemingly beyond the pale for an up-and-coming scientist, and he was endowed with great trust by his peers. As a result of his work observing Halley's Comet, he was, assigned, he was assigned a position at Lilienthal Observatory, where he spent four years. The observatory is pictured here. At this observatory, Bessel was afforded the opportunity to work with J.H. Schroeder, a celebrated lunar observer. After his time at Lilienthal, he was tasked by the Prussian government with overseeing the construction of the first large German observatory at Konigsberg in modern-day Kaliningrad, Russia. Once construction was completed, Bessel was expected to retain the position of director and professor at the institution. A colossal task for one so young, Bessel was only 25 at the time, he embarked on his mission with Gust. Never formally educated, making his accomplishments all the more impressive, Bessel required a doctorate in order to maintain his position as director of the observatory and as a professor. Thankfully, on the recommendation of his friend and fellow astronomer Carl Friedrich Gauss, Bessel was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Göttingen in March of 1811. In 1813, the Konigsberg Observatory, pictured here, was completed. Bessel would remain the observatory's director for the rest of his life. Once established, Bessel began the work that would define his career and legacy as a groundbreaking astronomer. In 1818, Bessel corrected instrumental errors in English astronomer James Bradley's observations of the positions of 3,222 stars, systemizing this data. This allowed Bessel to accurately calculate the position of these stars. This innovation cannot be understated as this achievement is considered the beginning of modern astronomy. For his work reducing Bradley's data, Bessel was to gain international fame. For his achievement, he was also awarded the Lalande Prize, an honor granted by the Academy of Sciences to, quote, the person who makes the most unusual observation or writes the most useful paper to further the progress of astronomy in France or elsewhere, end quote. Building upon his earlier work, which also enabled the work of other prominent astronomers for decades, Bessel set out perfecting and building upon his Bessel tables. In possession of the exact locations of thousands of nearby stars, he was able to observe highly specific motions between and among stars and other celestial objects. In 1838, working from his observatory in Konigsberg, Bessel selected the star 61 Cygni, pictured here, showing that the star moved in an elliptical motion every year. While this annual motion, parallax, was a known phenomenon, Bessel was the first to demonstrate this effect accurately. This is considered by many astronomers to be Bessel's greatest contribution to modern astronomy. Not only was Bessel contributing to the largest database of astronomical recording of his time, as well as refining the process of determining parallax, he was providing the first hard evidence that the Earth evolved around the Sun at the same time, seeming to confirm the historical claims of the astronomer Copernicus. Bessel presented these findings to Friedrich Olbers on his birthday. His mentor and friend responded that the discovery, quote, put our ideas about the universe for the first time on a sound basis, end quote. When considering Bessel's accomplishments, one must also consider his most well-known and greatest contribution to the field of mathematics and his generalization of what are known as Bessel functions. Bessel developed Bessel functions in order to study planetary perturbations, the distance and orbit of planets caused by additional bodies, contributing to the work of Kepler. Following the development of Bessel functions, several of their applications became apparent in describing physical phenomena, including the flow of heat in a cylinder and the diffraction of light.
Wilhelm Friedrich Bessel must be considered amongst the greatest astronomers of history. His contributions to determining the scale of our own galaxy, the universe, and providing a framework for the whole new era of mathematical exploration of stars, planets, and their spatial relationships have proved essential to the fields. His achievements in positional astronomy were also fundamental. He provided us with the ability to accurately measure the size and positions of specific celestial bodies, and his contributions to geodesy with his ellipticity of the sun were also groundbreaking. Bessel is truly an essential thinker and will be remembered by history as such.